Hello everybody, welcome back to the first Ideal Video blog in about six months. I'm sorry we got busy last fall, we got Joe Ellen brought on board, it just got a little hectic for us and we had to let one thing slide back and I apologize that it was a blog. But wait, I'm, wait, wait, time management? Yeah, pretty much. It okay. was a time management Oh wait, one blame. No. Wade time management. Okay, As you I can tell, now. our guest today, uh, unfortunately I chose wrong, chose Sheremy Viator. I love to, you, Wade. To be our guest. And uh, Sheremy, we want to start out, to, what have you been doing the last couple of months? I've been a little busy, Wade. Tell us about it. We had to get ready to come to Stock Show. Yep. Un unlike some of us that kicked our feet up for the last six months and just kind of hung out around Texas. And yeah. Didn't, didn't do much, Wade. Didn't you know? do much. I know you didn't do any false sales or no. anything. How, we, many was, how many false sales? Uh, was we that? ended up with 56 false sales. Uh, it was pretty much phenomenal. Low lines? Uh, we didn't do any low lines. Uh, we did um, a lot of uh, European breeds. Um, we did a lot in South America, a couple now, of Antarctica. Your, European, European would be those Russian ones? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Russia's been very, it's a big market these days. Uh, pretty good. Okay. Pretty good market. Good. We also did some Scottish Highlanders. Those the are hairy ones. Those are kind of neat. Now, we need to talk about how we're going to get those prepared. Well, you, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to do a lot of washing. Low one? Yep. They're kind of like, do you remember Gail Davis's dogs? Ah, <laughs> I'm with you now. That's where we need to go for custom fitting. Okay, let's okay. talk for real. Anyway, Jeremy, tell everybody a little bit about uh, your your whole day-to-day -day, uh, activities have changed with Silver Spur. Tell us a little right. bit about that. Um, I'm, my position has been uh, readjusted, I guess you could call it, but I still uh, work with the genetics and marketing at Silver Spur. Uh, we have a team of... Uh, Cattlemen across four states, uh, Wyoming, Colorado, Nebraska, and New Mexico. So Silver Spur is really diverse, and I'm very fortunate to get to help those guys uh, find cattle that work in different environments, uh, different endpoints for Silver Spur. Now with the acquisition of the Bell Ranch in New Mexico, mm -hmm. that now put John Malone, if I'm not mistaken, as the number one largest single landowner in the United States. That is correct. Mr. Malone uh, owns a large amount of acreage in the U.S., but what's really really neat about Mr. Malone um, is that he's a, a very astute conservationist. Um, he wants us to be stewards of the land. Uh, this is about maintaining ranches as ranches as we go forward, um, not about developing property. So it, it's um, a way of life for us, for all of us that work for Silver Spur. It's an opportunity for us to be traditionalists um, and still be in the beef industry. Basically, guys, what he's done is he's taken a lot of different ranches that he's bought and kept them the way that they were prior to buying, kept them as the ranching lifestyle Correct. that they've grown up with, that they've had and, and been that way. He's got the family in the, the ranch up in Wyoming. It's been on the, the ranch for generations. Y'all saw a video we did uh, a while back of uh, uh, the old Jim Chronicles mm -hmm. uh, from where uh, Jim York was talking. Now, that, that's something that's very important to him in, in looking at the way that he's taking on these ranches. But in, in terms of historic ranches, you're working with some other historic ranches across the well, U.S. Well, we'll have the T.L. Ranch be there in at Raton, New Mexico. Uh, the property there at Kiowa has been an, um, a ranch, the Bijou portion of that's been a ranch since the 1800s. And then the property that uh, we own in, in Encampment, Wyoming, that's fifth generation right. uh, ranching within the Silver Spur name. And that's awesome. You've got uh, you got re uh, registered Red Angus as well as registered Charlay, but you're doing a composite. That's right. Have a few Angus, few her as well. But the one of the most exciting things we're doing uh, that range fire composite is a Charlay Red Angus cross. Those cattle work really well for us, both in the feed yard, in the pasture, and it's been fun here at National Western to have some of those cattle on display. Been met with a lot of interest, and that's the number one bull call that I get is for range fire cattle. Really. That's something you did. They do any? Did Silver Spur do any showing prior to uh, to you taking that on? There, there was uh, the group before us in, in the late '90s, early 2000s. Did show quite a few cattle. There were Angus cattle that they showed. We've transitioned actually, where we've upped the red numbers, um, mm -hmm. and then up the Charlay numbers, and then uh, we have increased our visibility through showing. But we believe that showing cattle is about marketing cattle. Right. Um, it, it's for us to be able to have an opportunity to come out, visit with folks, and display cattle for them. And, for them to see what we have in terms of genetics. Exactly, exactly. Well, that's great. Jeremy, keep up the good work. I know it's been a lot of fun and it will be in the future and uh, and we look forward to having you back. Uh, hopefully, uh, in, not in the same capacity, but maybe where you could, you know, be an adult with us and have a good time. Well, Wade, I, I did want to ask you something, okay? Go, go shoot. I, I really, you know, it's been a long time in coming, but I think you're on the list 
In fact, I think you've been asked or, or been nominated to judge the Scottish Highlanders. So if you don't mind, could we go forward with that? I have. I've got to get a different cap. I've got to get my driving cap to be able to judge those. I'm going to need some sort of a staff, um, maybe like a shepherd's hook looking thing. I think that's... Are you sure that's a, all? And a smoking jacket. Okay. I think we're good. Everybody, thanks for watching the Ideal Video Blog. We'll be back week to week. I promise we're going to bring them back like we said we were. Wade uh, Time Management. Jeremy's going to keep me accountable on that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back.